Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we're making more Miraculous Ladybug Magical Charms. So if you've been to my channel recently, you probably saw the tutorials for these five magical charms. They were a lot of fun to make, super easy, and I love how they turned out. So if you have not checked out those videos yet, make sure to do so after this video. Today we are going to make another one. We are going to make the one for Zoe. Hers is extra special because it has little diamonds in it. I think it's going to look amazing. So here are the supplies that we're going to need. We're going to need some oven baked clay. I have the original Sculpey in white. We're going to need some acrylic paint in gold and white. We're going to need some crystals. I got these with 13 facets, so they're a little bit bigger. We'll need a scale to measure out the clay and some beads and cable ties. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is measure out the clay. We're going to use 8 grams because this is the amount that I used for the other charms. Perfect. I'm going to take this clay and roll it into a ball. Once it's nice and round, we're going to press it between the palms and smooth out the edges. So here it is after we've shaped it and we are going to take one of these pins, these little eye pins, and stick it in. Just like this. So usually I would bake the charm right now, however this time because we are going to be putting these gems on there, I'm going to put them on here temporarily just to mark the spots. So we're going to place one in the middle and four on the side. And I'm going to adjust it a little bit so that it looks right. Okay, so it's looking really good. Let's go ahead and press it in. Wow, well, this looks really good. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the same to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna carefully move them into position. And I'm gonna gently press them in. Okay, so once we're done, it looks like this. I think it looks really amazing. But since we're gonna bake it in high heat, what I'm gonna do is remove the gems and then put them back in later. So with my X-Acto knife, I'm going to carefully pop out the gems. This way it won't melt in the oven. I'll be super careful not to change the shape of it. Okay, so now we're ready to bake. We're going to bake it according to instructions on the box. As we're baking, this is what the charm looks like so far. So now we can start painting. I'm going to paint the entire charm bright gold. This gold is a little thin, so we're going to give it a few coats. A magical charm is a small object that Ladybug gives to a defeated villain. This way, the person holding it will not be akumatized by Hawk Moth anymore. And what I love about the charms is that every one of them is unique. So if you were to receive a magical charm from Ladybug, what would it look like? Let me know down below in the comment section. Okay, so here it is after about five coats. I think it's looking really good. So the next thing we're gonna do is take some white paint and finish the design. So we're gonna start by drawing a straight line all the way down the middle. And then it's going to come out a tiny bit on the side here, kind of like a compass. And we're also going to paint the inside of these circles white. And we probably won't see much of it, but there'll be just a tiny bit that shows once we put the gem back in. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Thank you. 
All right, so the paint has dried. Now we're ready for the final step, the gems. So I'm gonna put some tacky glue into each of these little spots here. And we're gonna put our gems in. Now oh, this is a lot of fun. I feel like a jeweler. Next, we're going to pull the pin out and add two beads and put the pin back in. Alright everyone, and we are done! So this is Zoe's Magical Charm! What do you think? Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness, this one is my favorite so far. So now we have six of them. And I just love our newest one. This one is for Zoe. And let's put it back here. Let's go ahead and hang it right here. Oh my goodness. I love it. Alright everyone, I had so much fun making Zoe's Magical Charm. Do you like it? And do you want to see another one? If you do, let me know down below in the comment section which Magical Charm you want to see me do next. Alright everyone, see you next time. Bye!